I'm on the Providence Public Library website and I'm going to show you how easy it is to download a digital book from eZone. We'll start on the link Books and More, expand the submenu, and choose Download Media OSL eZone. On the second page where we can download ebooks, we'll choose Download Media from Ocean State Libraries OSL eZone. Now we're on the Ocean State Library's eZone page, but before we can download a book, we'll need to install Adobe Digital Editions on our computer and get an Adobe ID. eZone has provided this quick start guide to walk us through the process. We'll choose the first link, Download and Install Free Software. And on this page, we'll choose the first link to install Adobe Digital Editions. Now we're on the Adobe Digital Editions page, we'll need to download the software. We'll choose Download Now. We'll need to install the software. We'll choose Install, Install Again, and Yes. We'll choose the defaults. We'll choose the defaults again. And we'll close. We'll need to agree to the terms. And we've downloaded Adobe Digital Editions, but we still need to authorize the uh, installation on our device. So we'll click Continue. We'll need to get an Adobe ID online in order to activate the device. So we'll click Adobe ID online. We'll need to create an Adobe an account. And we'll need to fill out a short form. Our email address is ezone password. Password again. Password hint. First name. Last name. Job title. Organization name. Address. City, country, state, postal code, phone number, and screen, screen name. How many employees do you have in your organization? 10 to 99. Our industry is nonprofit and primary job function is training and development today. Um, I don't want Adobe to send me mail or to call me, but I'll let them email me and I'll continue. That is the correct address. And thank you for becoming a member. Continue. Now I want to go back to the page where I can put in my Adobe Digital ID. Better not put a cap. And my password. And activate. Now that I've activated my computer and I have Adobe Digital Editions, I'll need to go back to the eZone site in order to download a book. Now that I'm on the site and I have Adobe Digital Editions, I can find a book to download. eBooks. I'll download 
Daniel X, James Patterson. Now this book is available and I know that because there's a, a link that says add to cart. If it wasn't available there would only be a link that allowed me to hold. I'll need to check the format to make sure that I'm downloading an ebook and not an audio book and I'll add it to my cart. That looks correct. I'll proceed to checkout and at this point they'll want me to put in my library card number. And I'll sign in. I can change the lending period of this book. I'll change it to seven days and confirm the checkout. Now I can download the book. And here's the book in my Adobe Digital Editions program. So if I want to read it, I'll start it. Part two, skip, let's see where the chapters are. Chapter 40, part one, chapter one. Now from here, if I want to turn the pages, there's these little arrows down here. If I want to go forward, I just move it this way. And if I want to move backward, I move it this way. And now that I've read the book and I still have six days on my seven day checkout, I may want to return it early. So I'll click this little library view link in the corner. And at that, this little arrow shows up and I can click return borrowed item. Are you sure you want to return this item? Yes, I'll return the item. Now, I do want to go back to my account on the, the Ocean State eZone site to make sure that I don't have that book on my card. So I'll check my checkouts. And you can see I have three books on my card, but I don't have James Patterson, so they evidently did return the book. There are other things I can check in my account. I can check my cart. Right now there's nothing in my cart. I can check my checkouts, which I just did. I can check lending periods and I can change my lending periods for different types of materials. And I can check my holes. And as you can see, I have holes on these four books and it will tell you that you are patron one out of one on a waiting list. And when it comes time and the book has been returned, they'll send an email to your registered email account and you'll be able to check out the book. And that's how you download an ebook to your computer.